So are we just not going to talk about how we got called broke at Smokers Club or what? Dude, they weren't calling us broke. They were just being nice. Like, it was the two girls. <laughs> oh, that was talking to us? Yeah, and they were like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then they were like, why aren't you guys in VIP? And Nick took it the wrong way. Yeah. No, I'm going to, no, we're going to talk about this when the podcast starts. So wait. You wait, you sat there last time, right? Yeah. I sat here last time. I know, just Devin. Just what I'm to say. Thanks, man. You know what? I'll be gone soon, so. Why? Because I need to go somewhere after. she doesn't want to be here. Oh, you don't want to be here? Yeah, because I don't <laughs> like y'all. Okay, well, we already knew that, but. Also, before we get the podcast started, guys, we got called broke by some fans at Smokers Fest <laughs> this weekend. Um, and I have never felt that shitty in my life. You, you want to know what they said to us? Why? What they say? So, <laughs> we were basically in general admission, and these people were in VIP, and there's a railing that separates us. And when the concert was over, we were walking away. And these people recognized us and they were like, hey, like, you're like Nick, Cynthia, blah, blah, right? And we're like, yeah. And they were like, why aren't you in VIP? <laughs> They're like, well, why aren't you over here? I was like, oh, we just got general admission. They're okay, like, but they, like no. No. And then they said, and then they said, wow, I thought you'd be on this side. No, but they were so sweet. They also called Nick 5'6. Remember, they're like, are you 5'6 or something like that? Okay. You remember that? Yes, actually. Yeah. Because I was like, I asked them, I was like, do I look. um do I look small in real life? And they were like, aren't you like 5'6"? I was like, damn. Oh, damn. They yeah. said that? Dude, something but even worse happened to us. We were like walking and we were like talking about how like next year we have to get VIP and a guy in front of us just turns around, flashes his wristband at us and just keeps walking. We're like, Whoa. damn. Wait, when was that? I, I didn't was see that. not there. When, I didn't see yeah, that either. Yeah, when we, it was when we were walking back and we were like separated. Oh, yeah. damn. Dead ass? Yeah, he like, he looked back, he was like, <laughs> and we were like, that's kind of savage. Kind of fucked no, up. No, we're like, fuck you. <laughs> I was like, cool, bro. <laughs> yeah, nah. You don't foul. Nah. I didn't use that. No, but those same girls, though, we told them, me and Cynthia, we told them we were 5'11. And then they believed us. They were like, no, wait, they I didn't. They were like, I didn't know you guys were so tall. You guys said No, really yeah. Normal. It's because we were like on top. Like, you know, like, oh, it was like, okay. we were I was standing like this. <laughs> <laughs> Dev was standing behind me on the hill, so he looked like way taller. <laughs> I was like, damn, this is kind of fucked up. Okay, that's way better that's now. That's so weird that it was on a hill, though. It was yeah. blue. Yeah. Don't go to smokers. That was stupid. Yeah, don't go to smokers. But it makes sense so, like, the people in the back can see. But, like, that yeah. should have been VIP. The yeah. VIP section was too much, bro. That's yeah. way too much space for them. Oh, no, yeah. yeah. That's way no too much. No one told us about, like, the whole VIP thing, like, was going to be, like, the main, you know? Yeah, they should, we make that, like the they should the let back. that be known, like, yeah. when they post it. Like, where you're going to be at. They knew what they were doing. Well, I mean, yeah, they know what they were doing, but that's pretty fucked up. Like, yeah, there's a lot of money, you know what it I mean? Was. For one like, day. If yeah. I kind of knew, like, we were going to be so in the back, I, wouldn't have bought I probably my wouldn't have though. bought, like... No, I would have bought VIP for sure. Oh, for sure I would have yeah. gone still. You know, you know what else I heard? I heard that Live Nation was the people that were throwing it, and Live yeah, Nation yeah, were yeah, the people that threw the a- Astroworld. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 dude. And they didn't like... disclose it to the public. <gasps> didn't wow. they do... um? Life is beautiful too. I don't know the one that got shit on. Live Nation does a lot of shit. Why are they still hosting stuff? Like Live Nation and Golden Voice, those two companies are the only two that like host festivals nowadays. Like they're the two primary like hosts. We gotta get started. And Insomniac for (laughs) raves. Yeah. Oh, and I always get emails from Insomniac. (laughs) Go to your next rave and have a good life. Okay, (laughs) guys. There's a techno like a house techno rave in Long Beach for like two days. I'm there. No, you gotta come in the hard summer with all of us. I'm good. It's called Day Trip. It's just house music. Oh, wait, I heard of that, too. You have to be 21 and over to go, though, so... Nick. Well, I'll be 21. Everybody, oh. Everybody. Oh, yeah, you will be. No, Nick's Are you the like last the oldest, one? yeah. Okay. Oh, Nick's yeah. an old man. Because I'm going with Jason, and he's going with You're a bunch a of... You're a month like, younger than me. That sounds fun. I'm down. I'm super I'm down. Long, I heard it's fun, though. I heard about that. I like techno music. I like, like house music. House music is dope. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Is that why you always tell us to change the music whenever <laughs> we're listening to that type of stuff? Mm-hmm. That's so interesting. He doesn't play house music. House music is not, that's not house music. This is like house house. There's like deep house? Like no beat, house music is literally just beats. Like deep house, deep house is like so tough. Yeah. Like, yeah. None of these this fucks were on house music when I was on house music. No, oh, right. dude, you fucking started that way, bro. Like, good for you, dude. You and Owen, dude. Fuck, like, dude, she just... Mata's being serious right now, so no, literally no, shut up. I'm dead ass. Like, <laughs> audio testing changed my life. Oh. Mata, you gotta tell them how smokers change your life and you're listening to rap now. No. You listen around Rap now? festivals <laughs> are my <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. It's just the vibes there was like crazy. Like it was like totally different her. from like but race. I feel you. That was my first rap fest and like it I'm with it. Good. Guys, I'm yeah. telling you now, it's way better it's than way that. Better. That was like a really bad yeah, like that venue. Bad. That's why I felt I bad for you too. Wait, who? But honestly, I was mostly like surprised about like. Not at all. 
the people. <laughs> <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> <"Dude."> <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry, keep going, keep going. Because of how chill they are, the people? Yeah, because you guys, like, going into it, you guys were like, oh, trust me, Mario, like, don't be talking to people, like, you know? Yeah. Like, because rolling loud is oh so much different. Because if you were in the front, people would not give a fuck. Yeah. They're not going to care, like, if like, you get Like, you know how it was for Cardi? Yeah. Yeah. Imagine that for for seven hours. That's how it usually is. At. Oh, hell no. I would die. Like, <laughs> no, I would it's like leave. that. Like, it's crazy. Yeah. No, like, so at rolling loud, um, it's legit, like, how that was for Cardi. Imagine that for, like, the next six, six artists you see that whole day. Just like, mosh pitting. Just mosh pitting, mosh pitting just jumping, mosh like, and no you can't move, and you can't like move around. You have no. They don't really like, care if you're a girl or not either, bro. They really don't care. Unless, unless you go to the back. Jumping. Well, unless you go to the back. But that's way back, though. Yeah, I like rolling loud. Start. That's way back. Huh? Are we gonna start? Yeah, we're gonna start right now. Okay. You ready? You good? All right. You got somewhere to be? <laughs> I mean, like, no, but. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. And we're live in three, two. two one hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another segment of suburb talks i'm your host nick Rahetta. joining us tonight we have christine Choi. hello we have cynthia Choi. i'm sleepy we have devin paul hey we have maria lee hi and we have sahe gian right. um <laughs> <laughs> for those of you who are uh trying to guess what we're wearing right now is jersey theme tonight los yeah. doyers is what i'm re- um, representing tonight um jev Oh. Dev's not even wearing a jersey got, that he likes. I got a blue jacket jersey on, but I'm a Kings fan. Mm. Shout out LA. <laughs> 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 what are you wearing tonight, Christine? I'm wearing a Otani um, Japan jersey. What are we wearing tonight, Cynthia? Juve. Bug boom. Bug boom. Bug bug. Show what you do. Show what you do. Maria, Maria, who are we wearing tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Who are we wearing tonight? Damn, you, why'd you just sigh into my fucking... I heard that shit in my brain Wait, right there. Wait, I just there. sighed? I didn't even notice. Yeah. Fucking... I'm just... I'm yeah. just balling. I'm just vibing. I just want to ball my bros. I just want to ball my bros. Yeah. Where'd you get that from? <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> what are we wearing tonight, Sage? Show him. He doesn't even know. He doesn't even know. Jonathan Taylor. Hashtag Colts no. Forge. I want you to put a big Colts Forge on that screen. Okay, guys, you, you guys don't have go. to. Don't do that, Nick. No, you have to. I don't watch football. Yeah. Col- sh- Colts Forged. It's all about a... Uh, I don't even watch football. I don't even know what I was going to say on that one. <laughs> I'm going to totally not pay attention what to that. Okay. Just Colts Forged. Just do it. Yeah. As Illuminati. <gasps> <laughs> I fucking knew it. I knew okay. you were in there. Um, we ready to get like right into the questions tonight? Everyone yeah, good? Let's, let's, it, let's yeah. get right into uh, let's it. Let's get right into it. Let's get okay. right into it. Let's get in there. First... First question of the night. Yes. Have you guys ever like told your mans like your hope stories? Like any, if you're talking to somebody and you're like dating them, have you ever like <laughs> gone into depth with your hope stories to him? No. Why not? You have it? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Maria? What do you mean by in depth? Like in, de- in depth, like have you ever gotten like, like deep into it? Like what happened? Like. You're like hope phase is basically like crazy. No, I feel like that's a little weird. No, well, because I hear a lot about like on like TikTok, like it's like when you hear like your girl's hope phases and then you're just yeah. like sad for like weeks. <laughs> yeah. Well, I I usually never bring it up first. He'll, so like if he asks me a question, mm. like have you ever like done this before? Then I'll say like yeah, it happened. That's but, not what we're talking about. We're gosh. talking about your hope stories. Yeah, like you'll bring them up. If, if like it relates to some question yeah, that he asks that he asks like it will like to give him backstory sometimes i need to bring it up are you like just scratching the surface though or are you like telling him like the details of what happened i'm not telling him the details because i don't want to hear details from his hoe phase okay yeah same okay so, i don't like that yeah who's going in depth uh, i see it on what if he asked you if he like, asked me to go in i don't depth? think i don't think they're going in exactly. depth i think they're just talking about it yeah. Like they were oh, in a whole face. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But what if he was like, well, what happened? Well, if he was really curious, I would tell him. Why Why is he asking, though? Why is he curious? Hey, there's some weird some dudes people are, I mean, Some people are like, okay. I <laughs> That's a funny <laughs> They are. Some people are just curious. <laughs> cuck. Yeah. Right? No, but let's say he's not a cuck. Why is he asking? To probably like fill you out, maybe maybe see what you're into, you what know. You like, yeah. I feel like that makes yeah. sense. Okay, Wait, are we talking? We're not talking about like kinks, though. We're talking about like, no. Your hoe phase. We're oh, just talking. Like, we're not talking. Yeah, we're talking about the hoe. Like yeah. you're like hoe phases. 
and then he fucking grabbed my hair and oh, threw me shit. on the, oh, you know, shit. Like, hey, yo. he's like, like yeah, hell like, yeah. We're like talking about like, oh yeah, like I used to link with this guy like two or three times a week, yeah. you know you know what I'm saying? Like just talking about like, like that, that phase so in your fire. life. <laughs> yeah, stuff like that. Like you get what I mean? These yeah. Motherfuckers. <laughs> it's a no for me. But yeah. like Christine said, if they asked, I'd probably be honest about it. Like I wouldn't lie. Would mm-hmm. you guys ever want to know? Hell no. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I'm like no, no. I don't want to. I don't know, cause nah, I don't know. I don't care. I don't care if I knew. You wouldn't yeah. care. If she starts talking about like her hope is. Okay, like, maybe don't go into deep about <laughs> it, but you know what I mean. You could tell me that. Okay, I had a little bit of fun. What if you're like okay, okay, okay. What if you're like kicking it with her one day, right? Okay. And you're just like, I don't know. Let's just say you bring up like a like a girl or something like that, and then she's like, oh my god, like this one time though, I was with this oh, guy. Nah. Nah, you don't want to hear none of that. She was like, that, no. if it starts like that, like, oh my god, he like, like, fuck. No. She's like, she's I'm like, like what? Like, 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 oh, like, oh. <laughs> what if she starts like reminiscing about it too? Like, she's like, I know. Like, like, I'm saying, damn, that's crazy. Go to him. <laughs> no, yeah, that's a good response to something like that. <laughs> like, why are Babe, you even you reminiscing? Imagine. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, well, what about the girls? You guys all said that you don't even want, you don't want to hear about it either. Yeah, like, no, his hope thank phases. you. Unless I like ask maybe, but yeah. I don't even think I would ask. Unless actually, no, yeah, I wouldn't ask. Well, like you said that like if he brings it up, but is is it? Do you remember like a specific scenario like how it got brought up? Well, like today I was having a conversation with a guy, and he was like, "Have you ever tried this before?" And I was like, "He was like." <laughs> Damn. Bug boom. Bug boom. Bug boom. He was like, do you want to try this with me? And I was like, no, because of this, this, and this. Oh, and he was like, this happened in the past with yeah. this girl? Ooh. No, no, no. He didn't oh. say it. I said it. I was like, yeah, this happened in the past with this guy, so that's why I don't want to try it or do it with you. Mm. That was like the only reason I brought it up. That's, that's valid. That's totally fine. Yeah. But like, am I... Are you guys not on like TikTok like that where you see videos? I've seen, I've seen I that. don't know what side of TikTok <laughs> you are on. I have. You've seen them, right? Yes. Okay. I think I think it's a little weird if like somebody brings that shit up out of the blue. Like they just like Like how you said it right now. Yeah, like like, like oh remember that one time when <laughs> That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Is that not crazy? That is crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> yeah. Like I don't know why someone would bring it up in the first place, but I would definitely feel a little like I would feel uncomfortable. I'd be like, um, I don't really want to hear this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's your past. Just keep that between you and that guy. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. And you can tell me to do stuff like that. Just be like, oh, can you do this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm the first one to do it. <laughs> That's actually a pretty idea. Okay. Um, next question. Uh, me and Sage were talking about this earlier. Is it true that like when guys go in for a kiss, they kiss really weird? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is that uh, is that real? I know what you guys are talking about. Yeah. I've seen those. Yeah. It's like it's like an ick. Like what does it look like though? Either I need I need an example. Okay, there's there's yeah, yeah. two ways they get it wrong. Okay. Either mouth open like oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> or <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, come here, babe. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we shouldn't have brought up that sound. Yeah, I know. <laughs> or are they going like, like puckering, like? <laughs> See, when I think of the puckering, yeah, what the I fuck you do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are you supposed to fucking do? <laughs> no, just like ease into it. I don't fucking know. I think the pucker is more awkward than the open mouth. Yeah, yeah, I think for real. That, that definitely when sounds I think of a pucker, like, I think of like, like. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, bro, like, 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 like awkwardly <laughs> slow. Like, it's like <laughs> no, like, like. <laughs> like you know, what why I mean? are you shaking? Because that's how I imagine like an awkward kiss. Why are you shaking? Bro? Why are you shaking? Yeah, that's what I'm doing on purpose. Do it on purpose again. No, you just want to kiss me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You just want to yeah. kiss me. So oh he dives God. across the table. <laughs> just do it again, bro. I don't want to kiss. I'd all. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so you're saying those. You're saying that those are the two, and you're you're actually saying it's an it, Christine. <laughs> Yeah. No, you guys. Honestly, at the, the at, at the end of the day. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, t- t- Can you guys please? today, today Junior? <laughs> oh my god! You know what? It's all good. No, no, I'm no, out no, of here. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was gonna say. <laughs> fuck. Now I lost Damn, what I was gonna say. At the end of the day. At the end of the day. At the end of the day. It really just depends on the guy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Like, but do have okay. So like every guy that's kissed you though, are they all going in 
like in a weird oh, yeah, way. No, not all of them. Not yeah, them. not all but of them. But when it's like, bad, it's either one of those two. And like, yeah. it's just like sometimes, like. <laughs> so you're, you're opening your eyes then? You have your eyes open? <laughs> <laughs> wait, that's, that's, that's good ass. Yeah, wait, no, till you're closed. Wait, Sage, oh, yes, but yes, that's yes. literally what I was going to say. Sometimes, like, I'll kiss a guy and like. With my I'll, eyes open. Yeah, I'll open my eyes and then. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, oh, you that's look like, like open the light. That's like the biggest mistake that you could ever make. Cause like a guy sometimes just looks so like, <laughs> like, I, I was like, like a fisheye lens, like desperate. close <laughs> I have a question. Wait, what do you mean? Like kissing him? Like he looks desperate and sad? <laughs> Who are you kissing? <laughs> I feel you though. It's like the little like It's like that look it's that, the perspective. Yeah. What? <laughs> What about after the kiss, the follow up like word? Oh. What if he's like, for instance, <laughs> what if he's like, he's like, wow, that was amazing. How is like how that you feel about that? That's cute. That's cute. That's cute. I would giggle. That's a lot better wow, than I expected. That was amazing. Oh no, that's fucked yeah. up. That's horrible. No, not that. You're actually a lot better than I thought. How are you gonna feel about that? <laughs> I had a guy say, I had a guy say, it feels drunk when I kiss you. And that was like, it that's a compliment. That's pretty dope. That's pretty that cool. That is a nice compliment. Yeah. It feels drunk, it feels when, drunk I when I kiss you. I'm trying to get drunk. I don't it, get it feels yeah. drunk. It feels like I'm drunk when I kiss you. The movie's like, wow, that was yeah, magical. Know. That was hot. Yeah, that made, that gave me butterflies. That was pretty good. That's pretty good. Has a guy ever hit you with like a weird ass follow up word or phrase? Follow up word after kissing? That you can remember. <laughs> no. I mean, most of it like the weirdest is just like wow because <laughs> like <laughs> wow wow, wow. wow. Oh. <laughs> you have to edit the voice i fucking on know balls. i do oh. <laughs> <laughs> no like when cynthia did it actually edit it into <laughs> bro so he's having a blast with those headphones <laughs> that shit, you're good at it thanks <laughs> what do it again Go. No. <laughs> Yo, that's fine, bro. I know. Now Do it again. You, you're in the zone. You stub your toe. Oh. <laughs> no, that was, that was good. See? That was pretty good. Dude, it my hands are hey, hey, Can you're I good. hear yours? No. Please. See? No, you guys, please. <laughs> please. Next question. Please. No, no, please. Next question. Come on. Next question. You walk into your room, you stub your toe. What, you, what sound are you making? <laughs> <laughs> Not that oh. sound for sure. I'd probably uh, just yeah. cry. I'd probably squeal. In that, I feel like Nick makes <laughs> no. No, yeah, for sure Nick does. If I stub my toe, I'd. He's going, aww. <laughs> I might be to be honest. Yeah, I wish I could have that literally like voiceover on me like all the time. Honestly, I'll make that yeah. noise way too much. Yeah, if I can make that sound, I would too. You okay, fam? Yeah. Dude, it's getting so hot. No, it gets hot. What's wrong here. with me right now? No, no, no. It's hot. I don't know how he has a hoodie and jersey on right now. But I'm actually not sweating at all either. I feel good. Yeah. To go back to the kiss question though, um, what's like I'm. I'm I low key gets I once I saw like how guys go in for a kiss, I started to get nervous kissing a girl now. Wait, hold on. Damn. Why? Are you, you like impressed like, by it? You know what guys look like when they're kissing though. He's like he's like, whoa, well, he's so that. good at that. <laughs> no, 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 You're I so know, freaking like, good at that, bro. I didn't know, but when girls when girls when I saw that as a TikTok when someone posted that, yeah. and then a bunch of girls were commenting, every guy does this, I'm like, fuck. Damn. I have to watch myself. Every guy does do it. it I mean, like, <laughs> not every guy. Some guys are like really good at kissing. Like I would say, like if you're gonna like kiss a girl for the first time, like you know, put a hand like on her face, like really gentle hand on or her on face. Her That's cute. Neck. Yeah, being, or like being on her good, neck. Being good at kissing <laughs> and then on her booty, and then just going in for the kiss is two different things though. Because you can be really good at kissing, but have like a weird like move in yeah when you think about it though girls girls don't really go in for the kiss so we're not we don't have our eyes open to see them going for the kiss i've gone in for a kiss a lot yeah but not mo about? not most of the time though. i think i think most of the time it's guys most of the time for for the first kiss it's the guy going in not for me no because mm. i feel like i feel like sometimes or like it hasn't been for me because i think for a guy if you're like on a date with a girl then it's like kind of obvious that he would be down to kiss her but like Agreed. the girl, you never really know. So like to avoid confusion for the guy, I usually just kiss him first. That's good. Yeah. Mm. And like, I think girls are better with like the timing and that type of mm. stuff. So that's Absolutely why I just agree. do it. I agree with that. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I mean, like I give him an opportunity to like lead the kiss, but I like open it up to him. Like hey, you make it known. Like, yeah. Like I'll just like hold eye contact for a little longer. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Do you guys think that you're like big chilling when you go in for the kiss. Honestly. 
Like, do you guys think like you got it down? I think so. I like that's to think cool. so. Yeah. If this was like eighth grade, I'd say otherwise. Yeah. But that, that's when I was all. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's when. Yeah. You're just, that's really yeah. good in there. That's when I was a French man. What you know what I'm saying? Y'all be having first kisses in eighth grade? Damn. No, mine was like. Yeah, mine was in eighth grade. <laughs> no, mine, my first kiss was in eighth grade. I think mine was like late. Dude, I was I was a I was a ju- junior. Really? Yeah, I was eighth a junior grade. too. Oh, never mind. I was. I think mine was like like freshman or sophomore. Yeah. yeah, but I definitely at first was like an awe guy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I was a Frenchman. <laughs> I, was a, I was a Frenchman at one point. That's so good, bro. Thanks, bro. That's really. Good. I can I can agree with that though. <laughs> I, can, I can agree with that though. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> You're an awe guy. <laughs> yeah, I, I was a French guy. I was a French guy. Not not the eye. Never no, changed, no. bro. Never changed. I feel like a first kiss should not involve tongue. Yes. One hundred percent. Well I think like I I, like I can agree, agree with that. A little bit yeah. a little bit of tongue good, is like is really nice, crazy. but absolutely do not put your tongue in her mouth. But no, like, it can start like no. Oh, no, so that's what I'm saying. Like first that's kiss, saying. like yeah. first kiss. Do oh, don't go like <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I was thinking that you're going in with your mouth yeah. wide open. <laughs> I've seen that before. <laughs> tongue out and everything. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. He never got a second date. Mm-hmm. And he didn't even get to kiss me, so... <laughs> you dodged yeah. it? You dodged it. Damn. Yeah. Can I see how you how you dodge it, though? Um, well, like, <laughs> <laughs> Did she fucking weave in? She weave in? <laughs> she put <laughs> <she laughs> <she laughs> in the <laughs> fucking flame. Blade? Oh, flame! <laughs> She's like this. She has the shoulder out. Yeah. Floyd Mayweather? Little, like, what do you call yeah. it? The back fucking yeah, the shoulder roll. The shoulder roll? I was roll? trying to say that, but I fucked up. I no, I just, like, I just, like, put a hand on his chest and, like, kind of pushed him away. And I was like... What'd you say? Wow. I was like... <laughs> well... <laughs> I can't let you get close. <laughs> I can't let you get close. Don't touch my no no square. Or she went, aww. <laughs> Wait, what? What? How do you reject a kiss? How do you, yeah, what do you say? I like pushing back and I was like, hey, you know, like, I don't think that, like, that's <laughs> gonna work right now. Damn. And I was like, you know, like, you're cool, but, you know, I'm not really feeling it. That's what I said. Mm, that's a good that's answer, valid. though. That's valid. Was this at the, at the end of the date? Yeah, it was at the end. And was this all because of how he came in for the kiss? No, there were other things too. And then that was just like the cherry on top. Where I was like, Damn. absolutely not. If he didn't come in like that, like if he came in like more smooth, you think you would have kissed him? Yeah, I would have kissed him. I still wouldn't have Damn. gone a second date though. Bro, if a guy kissed me like that, I'd cry on the spot. Would you, would I you mean, push him away? didn't kiss me like that. Wait, Wait yeah. sorry. <laughs> what? If he's kissing you, mouth wide open, tongue out. <laughs> no, let's say the roles reverse. Like if I was the guy, like. Oh, okay. And then a girl pushed you off? <laughs> I'm, 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 Wait, confused. I'm so confused. I'm confused right on what, what I'm confused. perspective you're taking right now. Yeah. I was trying to kiss a guy and he pushed me off and was like, oh, nah. Okay, yeah, no, yeah. I did ask. I would cry too. No, I would literally cry. Like, I, would, damn, I would think about that shit for days. But you, you got to think about it. I feel like if a guy asks you out on a date though, He's like, down to at say? least kiss you. Like he's For down real. to. I feel like yeah. if you ask a girl out on a date. Actually, maybe that's why it never happened. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That has yeah, never happened. I, I, never happened. Nah, yeah, because I, I, nah. There's no fucking way a guy's turned on a kiss. Nah. Mm-mm. Okay, but to go off like, hold on, I got a burp. Bless to you. go off of that blew. though, <laughs> I should have blown it that way. Yeah. Um, Balloon. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> I just caught that too. Um, okay, that's I guess that's different because guys, mm-hmm. we're talking about guys going on a date with a girl. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, she's an English lit major, bro. I know. <laughs> I fucked up heavy. I think I should dip right now since we're on crackhead energy. You did. Oh, Maria's out. Balloon. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you. Maru's got a dinner to go to, guys, so she's gonna be tapping out right now. Next week. Next week. <gasps> Peace out, Maria. Maria. Have fun. Bye, Maru. Listen, you two have your privileges back to sit next to each other. Don't make me get them taken away. Are you sure it's not too close, bro? It looks pretty fucking close. You wanna do me a favor? Like doing a news. You wanna do me a favor? It does, huh? It's tripping me out. Should we have one of the girls go on that side? No. no we're fine. Yeah. Will you talk Dude, to each other? We are fine. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. No, no, no. It's, so okay. it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Not go okay. over there. You're so fine. <laughs> No, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. We'll give them some privilege. We'll give them okay. some privilege. Back to what I was saying, though. When you think about it, isn't it kind of like if a guy asks a girl out on a date, he's like super interested. But if a girl just says yes to the date, Ooh. it means that she's still like kind of questioning how this guy is. For sure. I think so. So is that why, like, because that goes back to what you were saying earlier about like if a guy asks you out on a date, he's for sure going to want to kiss you. Mm-hmm. But just because you ask a girl out on a date and she says yes doesn't always mean that she's gonna want to kiss you exactly mm-hmm. so that's why i like making the first move that's more point. often that's good it's valid yeah 
Because, like, a guy will, like, on a first date, a guy will usually give a kiss at the very end, right? Like, when he, like, walks you home, whatever. And that's, like, I feel like an awkward time to, like, kind of, you know, like, do a first kiss. Because really? I, I think sometimes, like, yeah, like, I think kissing someone on a first date, like, when, just, like, when the time feels right and you guys are, like, more comfortable helps like with the rest of the date go well yeah. does that make sense i'm i'm kind of more so looking just for like a moment where it's right not so much like a certain time period like the end of the date just whenever there's like just a moment where it's like okay i because like you said it earlier like if you're looking at me and you're holding eye contact for longer you look down at my lips blah 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 and we're like talking and it's like you you can almost like tell it's intimate i'm gonna kiss you right there and then yeah. I'm not really looking more so towards like, oh, it needs to be at the end of the date. It needs to be on the second date. It needs to be on the third date, blah, blah. See, I even am then, I'm not doing it. At the, at what? I'm still waiting for the second date. Same. S I'm, I'm just, I'm, even if they hold that eye contact for that long and I know they want to kiss, it's just like, I know you want to kiss right now, but honestly, I'm. I try and refrain to kiss somebody on the first date for sure. But like, bro, if there's like a, an opening. Sometimes there's just like a moment where the, like it yeah, there just is. feels right. Yeah. And it's like, you just got to send it. Usually, yeah. I have to say, though, if it's the first day and it's like it's first date and it's a moment like that, it's usually at the end of the date. And But usually you're not really having moments like that either on a first date because both you guys are kind of like feeling each other out. And That's you're not why it gonna, would be at the end of the date. Yeah, exactly. Like, goodbye. You know, let me walk you. Let me walk you to your door. Yeah. You know, <laughs> can I come in? It's really warm in there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you got anything to drink inside? It's really warm. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? What are we laughing at? What are you wheezing right now? It's warm. It, what if it's warm inside? That's it's good. Cold outside. No, that's good. My car doesn't have a heater. <laughs> yeah, if I'm being honest, <laughs> it smells really, really bad. So I don't turn it on. It's not. It's not that I don't have a heater. You just but it have to get really it bad. clean. Yeah. I've tried to get it clean. It smells so bad. Have you you smelt it? Yeah, huh? it smells like yeah. dog shit. Yeah. It smells like feet, bro. It's really really bad. Yeah. The other day, the other day, um, I took a girl out yeah, to dinner and I was about to turn the AC on. I was like, fuck, I can't turn the AC on because the AC smells like ass yeah. too. Both really? Smell like ass. Both? So like, In your car? Yeah. What's wrong with your car? <laughs> I don't know. It's, I don't know. It's something. <laughs> it's something with like the. Yeah. <laughs> it's like something with the filter. I don't. I don't necessarily know. But it just like smells bad sometimes. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Even you know. You know that it smells bad in my car. Like car AC, oh, okay, it, okay, okay. it smells oh, bad. It smells like shit. I've never smelled like that though. Really? I've never smelled it. No. So what are you gonna do when you go on a date? And she's like, Yo, like it's hot here. <laughs> Can you turn the AC the on. Just roll out the window. <laughs> She's like, it's really cold. <laughs> Crack the window a little bit. She's like, oh, what's this button do? I'll be like, no, 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 no. She's like, it's kind of honey. I'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> is that better, mamas? <laughs> okay, but back to it, Christine. Um, since you're saying that you're kissing guys on the first date and all that, would you say that? Okay, I don't kiss every boy on the first date. Okay, my bad. Let you're me not... make that clear. Okay, how many guys would you say that you've kissed on the first date? Can I get a number? Like six. Whoa. I haven't even kissed six people in my life. What? No, that's a, that's He's a, lying. No, that's <laughs> a, that's a, that's a oh my god, I have a question. Okay, wait, just one second. Don't forget it, please, for the love of God. Or do you need to ask it now? <laughs> do you need to ask like, it now? Stay there. Fuck boom. Fuck, fuck boom. Do you, do you need to ask it now? No. Okay. Said no already. Um, would you say that those six guys, though, you're feeling like completely comfortable to kiss them? Like, there's a moment. There was yeah. a moment. That's why you're kissing them. Got it. Okay. And like, it was like in the middle of the date too. <laughs> Got it. Okay, okay. She lost it. Have you ever had sex with a girl without kissing her? <laughs> what I had the sex with a guy fuck? without kissing him. That's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get off? <laughs> Is you it weird? Her. Why'd you say it like that? Like, That's so you? weird. I've never had That's weird, huh? You're weird. No, I'm That's not. weird. You really had sex with a guy without That's, kissing him at all. Even before, during, after. I'm so confused on like, how that went I up. feel like it could happen, but like still, like I want to kiss. I have to kiss. like try to not kiss them. This is guy number two. Yeah. He's like not allowed to kiss me. Oh, so oh. it's really special yeah. circumstances. Like religion or something yeah. like that? No. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, no. This is guy This is. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you don't like you don't like him touching you, right? Yeah, I don't uh, like him touching. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> 
Yeah, that is okay, so that's crazy, like, bro. I'm like, like trying to think about it. Like, what? And have, we can't cuddle and go to sleep, but like, I'll fuck him. Mm-hmm. See, okay, I guess that's... Wait, but he's technically touching you then. When <laughs> that's fine. He's doing like, that. It's not like he's never like little peck. And you're like, no. No. <laughs> really? You told him just off the bat, like, yo, I don't want to kiss you, bro. Now or always? Always. You're lying. What? Like, there were times that he's kissed me. Like, but that was like the first couple times. And after that, we we're just like, eh, whatever. I don't think I don't think there's no. Oh, <laughs> I was, I was like, there's that. no way. I, just, I, don't I don't think I could. I don't think I could have sex with a girl without kissing her. No, there's no. I don't way think I have really, fun. Yeah, nah. That's it. I don't think I'd have fun. Like I could do it. Yeah, it wouldn't be fun. enjoyable. It's like it's like, why would I not do it if it's there? Like yeah. a dry handy. Like a dry, it's like a dry handy. handy. So it's just a letdown, you know? Right. It's, like, it's, a yeah, it's like a dry. Yeah, it's a big letdown. Unless she's like, unless she's like, like you're gonna have sex with me if you don't kiss me. Then maybe I try, yeah. but like. <laughs> But like, imagine you're just in the middle of it. No kissing. <laughs> no kissing. I don't like that like, shit. Where am I supposed to? What am I supposed to do with my do face? No. So like, no. I, I think. Where, where where does his face go? <laughs> I think people who do it are like they do it because they like it. This is like two rated X. I can't explain why we don't kiss. Hmm. Yeah, you can. No, I can't. Oh. Can you explain it and yeah, they cut it out? Yeah, because it's too intimate. Oh. Honestly, if a guy, um, if a guy were to cheat on me. Like kissing a girl is worse than fucking her. Yeah. Okay, so here's the <laughs> <laughs> that is bastard. love. I've heard this actually. That yeah. is, no, I've heard it's it's the whole like you're lying. You're no. kissing liar. is yeah. far more intimate. Like you're cheating on me, like intimate, like emotionally, like so you like wow. fucking like okay he was horny like he was. He was Damn, I'd be down bad either way, honestly. So oh, no, 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 no. Down bad no, 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 no. Way? So you're saying that it's worse yeah. if a guy tells you, yeah, I kissed her, versus a guy tells you, yeah, we fucked. Just, I mean, I've had I've had it happen where, where a guy cheated on me and he said, yeah, we kissed. And I was like, did you do anything else? And he was like, no, I just kissed her. And like that made me angrier than if he would have said like, yeah, I fucked her. Because it's like, like Cynthia said, kissing is like so much more intimate to me, and like I, I don't know. Okay, I don't know if it's like. I guess it's the way you gotta like, view sex, though. No, I don't know if it's as much as like it's worse, but it's definitely the same. Well, think like, about yeah. kissing is not like, less. <coughs> it's still you, cheating. I want you to really think about this. If it's like a girl that is like a one night stand, like doesn't mean anything to you. You're really just gonna kiss her. You get what I mean. You're not really gonna kiss somebody that. Yeah. Like you'll kiss her to like get the f- like yeah. sex like, yeah. started, exactly. but like, but are you just kissing a girl like <laughs> just for a one night kiss? Like, you get what I mean? That's a Carrie question. <laughs> okay, that's a totally Carrie <laughs> question. But yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, because Carrie, Carrie, be, Carrie be kissing girls Honestly, randomly. I don't know like, why. Okay, but I guess like. No, I, I, I can, I can completely agree with you guys. I can completely agree with you guys because it does make on on a guy's on a guy's point of view. Don't know. On a guy's point of view, I can agree with you guys, but what about y'all? Yeah, would you be more mad at your girl if she cheated on you by having sex or by kissing a guy? I think sex is pretty fucking intimate. So when I think of sex, yeah. I think of fucking love. I think, like, you know what's crazy? I would be more impressed if my girl fucked a dude than kissed a dude. Me too. Yeah, Way absolutely. More impressed. But you know what? I think that's do the it. guy's yeah. thought, but I think girls are the other way around. Mm-hmm. I get, I get why guys think that it makes sense so you're letting him off the chain if he's fucking a girl no like but that's what i'm saying it makes sense like because for guys like okay i'm not letting him off what i'm the, not what's in your bag she does have hot cheeto puffs too oh, oh she bro i was tripping right now i was like what okay my bad that's yeah, why i saw her eating a different one like i was like it's a mixed i do get for because like for because i know a lot of guys like think that like sex is like really sacred and like girls do too but and like guys are like sex is well actually no i know more guys that are like sex is just like whatever mm-hmm. but I mean, that's the majority you, of guys to yeah be for you guys like you guys don't think that way so i can see why having sex with someone is more intimate like it's still cheating at the end of the day like yeah either or to break my either heart. or is yeah. cheating but like i think it would be easier for me to get over something like that if he like had sex with the girl instead of just kissing her see yeah. i just i just think that's so crazy because like i get where you guys are coming from because i totally agree with you guys that at the fact that a, a dude 
that's if he has a girlfriend and all he does is kiss a girl i feel like that's definitely has something to do more so on the emotional side exactly. or like he feels like mm -hmm. an attraction there because like i said bro you're not just kissing a guy's not just kissing a girl to kiss to her. kiss a girl but a guy is gonna smash a girl just to smash though but just a because girl horny. is just kissing a girl whoa, guy whoa, 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 a girl is just kissing a guy to kiss a guy mm -hmm. that's why i'm saying it's like different yeah mm. damn that's that's low-key mind-blowing i didn't even think about that yeah either either or i'm breaking up with you exactly i mean I, <laughs> yeah okay wait i got a question would you would you really break up with your girl for just Absolutely. kissing a guy Mm -hmm. Yeah, cheating is cheating. Like it's justifiable. Like she cheated on you. Yeah. But people, but some people, it's uh, like I, mean, I said before. Like if you're married, bro. Like, but married love is different. Mar Mary's love. different. Yeah. Married is like you gotta work it out. Like, you gotta like. It's on both ends, you know. It's like, on both two ends. ends yeah, and, like, yeah. There's a reason why she's kissing a guy. Blah blah. Exactly. Know. But I kind of want to think that way now too. Just you know, what I mean, like, yeah, you gotta get started early. Like thinking about stuff like that, but. At the same time, I don't think I'm taking back anybody that's disrespecting me. Are you? I think of it as disrespect. Are you breaking yeah. up with a guy if he kisses a girl? Would you? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. No reason is. Can there ever be a reason behind it though? No. No. But I've heard. Even if she kissed him first, reason yeah. Okay. No, there. Yeah. Even if she, especially even and if she kissed him first. What if there's like first? video of like the, the guy just getting like. Okay, like, like, all like, like if he's oh, getting like, 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 that, like if he's getting like mobbed and you can yeah. like see that he's like actively trying to like push this girl away, that's, that's a different, different story. I'm saying like he someone kisses him and he doesn't tell me about it and I find out later. Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Did one of you guys have a follow up question to that? I thought was it was it you, Papa? No, that was no, the last think, question. I think no. He, yeah. I think he okay. already answered it. Um. Damn. My mom's kind of blown right now. I ain't about a cap. It's just, it's just, it's just so funny to think that it's like on two different levels, yeah. on like two different sides, because like, because they're thinking more emotionally. But when, you, when you, but when you think about it, bro, it's kind of like because a girl's not really good. Because we, you've even said it, like a girl's really not gonna have sex with a guy unless she has like some sort of she, yeah emotional yeah. connection <laughs> with the guy, and then a guy's not gonna really just only kiss a girl unless he has like an emotional connection with the girl. You know what I mean? Because if you if you like a girl, you're not gonna you're not gonna really try and like have sex with her right away. You know what I mean? Like uh, if you really like a girl, I don't know, Nick. This is all very like circumstantial. Okay, okay. Like, I kind of agree with what Sage said though. Like I wouldn't take it as first like as if like you don't love me. I take it more like that's disrespectful. You know what I mean? Before I think of it like yeah, you don't love me type mm -hmm. shit. You know what I mean? So I feel like that's why I would be like, hell no. Nah. Okay, makes sense. All right. Um, next question. This question is for the ladies. How often are you guys actually faking an orgasm? Where is you it? Want, you want like a percentage? <laughs> I want I want like a I want like a where is it? <laughs> <laughs> We've already talked about this, Devin. Where is it? It changes with the moon. <laughs> Ladies, where is it? It changes with get the whiteboard out. Get the whiteboard, get the whiteboard out. I okay. get a diagram right now. I want I want a percentage or a fraction. One of the two. Like how often? Or like like out of, out of a number. Can't find it. Yeah. Like one out of five times you're okay. faking it. Four um, out of five times. Wait, honestly, if a guy isn't like making me feel good. What? If a guy isn't making me feel good, I'll tell him. You tell him? You'll tell him. Yeah, I'll be like, hey, hey I'll be like, hey, try this. To so show more love to that spot. Yeah, or like, or I'll like guide, <laughs> or I'll like guide his hand to the right spot. That's fine. Okay, and there I'll we like go. tell him That's like good. what I want him to do. Um, so like, I make sure that I finish every time at least once because it's like I'm gonna also enjoy myself. Like I'm not gonna just make you, you know. That's solid. And so at least once, the guy right now, great. Good. One out of ten. You're faking it. One out of ten. Or you're, you're faking it. One out of ten. Mm -hmm. Like you're. That's, oh wait, wait, no, 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 no. Faking it. Oh, one out of ten is pretty good. My fault. My fault. Yeah. I don't, I don't because I'm the same as you. Like. I say the same shit to my girlfriends too. I'm like, bro, like you just, just need fucking to tell make yourself, him. Yeah. Like finish. Or, Why would you take the little one? Though? You see two in my hand. What's wrong with you? I know, but you got. Wouldn't you guys say that you also know girls that are like faking yeah. it like i'm like what? every or like every. don't fi even finish like. yeah i'm like why would you have sex then no you guys need to pay attention yeah. to us we're educating he you he took the big cheeto out of my hand <laughs> i did yeah that was bad cheeto that is crazy though to think about though that people are faking it i've heard guys say that they faked it too i've 
I think I've done it probably. Okay, my whole like time, like I probably faked it like maybe once, twice. You really? faked nutting. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> How do you fake it? Where, did, where would you say Just make your, the noises Where would you say That your stuff went? Condom Condom yeah. uh, And then throw it away I'm Yeah like, See you dirty bastard That's why you need to wear a condom <laughs> I guess that's a fail safe I guess that's another reason To wear condoms guys But I, All the times Where like I wasn't going to I just said like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like nut I've said that before I was like This isn't gonna happen tonight Why Why were you faking it bro? I was just fucking drunk <laughs> Were you? F- I was drunk. Oh, and you didn't want to say that like this isn't gonna happen because I drank too much. That or I was just getting like bored. But you wouldn't tell yeah. her that. You're not gonna tell her like the truth. Like, yeah, I'm like way too lit to do this. <laughs> Man, sometimes the whiskey dick just happens. Yeah. yeah so why you're not gonna yeah, tell her that though? I'm trying, that's what I'm asking. Like, you wouldn't. Ju- why wouldn't you just say that instead yeah, of faking it? Yeah, guys, I've just like said like, dude, whiskey dick. I yeah, say, I, I say that. Happen. Oh, we're talking about that. But, yeah, okay, sorry, but whiskey dick out. and and not nutting is two different things. No, but wait, I, why? But no. So you were hard, but you just did not nut. That happens though. Why? Why did you? Why did you just keep going till you nut? Nah. Because <laughs> sometimes you're just over it. Yeah. You know? Oh, when you're drinking. It takes yes. Oh, oh, yeah. It takes a fucking minute sometimes. And when it you're just drinking. starts to hurt. I'm just like, no point. Like, I'm done. It doesn't start to hurt. I start getting tired. <laughs> <laughs> Take a break. Yeah, I'm just like, dude, I can fall asleep. Uh, like, should go I'm, sleep. At, at, the, at the moment, <laughs> the asleep. moment where I want to sleep more than nutting <laughs> is the moment where I'm like, okay. We gotta stop. I've had that happen before, so we're just like, okay, quick power nap. And we just like, <laughs> that's <laughs> fucking back sick. To it. That's actually fucking sick. I wanna start saying, let's just take a quick nap. <laughs> yeah. And we'll get back to it when I wake oh, up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You know where you're waking up. <laughs> yeah, there's yeah, no way I'm waking, you're waking up, bro. Yeah. You're, are you I'll deep tell you right sleep, now, bro? You're not. Oh. <laughs> can, you, <laughs> can you imagine? Can you imagine you lit and you're like, I just need a quick power nap, and you fall asleep for like 20 minutes. You say, Hey, are you ready? I'm like this. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's what you gotta fake though. Oh. <laughs> like, Damn, you know you got a point though. I'm not waking up. You you woke up from that power nap? Yeah, because he only like. He woke you up. Yeah. <laughs> Who needed the power nap? Both y'all. Yeah, we're because it was like it was like over an hour. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, it gets and it just gets too long sometimes. Like, I, no, it was just like it was a it was a long night, and we were just like, you know what? We're just gonna take a pause, and we like just took a nap, set an alarm. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually tough. Can I ask y'all, uh, at least for the ladies, like how like how long is too long? I thought you were gonna ask where is it. Ooh, that depends. You're munching right now, fam. I know. I want. I want my Cheetos back. Oh, these are yours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, eat this. <laughs> no, they're next. Sorry. Wait, keep those. Um, huh? How Please long? How long would you say is like too long? Or is it? Is it too long? Or is it just like it okay. just doesn't feel good? Once I start getting tired. It's once, like, once it starts not feeling good, yeah, it's too long. Like, like we can go long. Can you shut the fuck up for a second? I'm trying to talk. Okay. Oh my. God. Now finish. Go. Christine, you literally say that, bro? Dude, sometimes I wonder who's the little sister and who's the big sister sometimes. Bro, she keeps cutting me off on the Do you not hear that? You're going to let her talk to you like that? Hey, if that was Dang. my little sister, I would not let that slide. When is lo- too long for you? Well. Wale. I don't know. Like, it just depends on, like, what's happening. If it's just, like, 40 minutes of, like, the just same thing? the dick. Yeah, and the same ah, thing. Like, that's too long. It's buffalo. It Y'all gonna stop paying attention or what? I'm paying attention. All right, I'm gonna switch you right now. No, I'm, I'm gonna switch you right I'm now. Literally. Right. No, I'm switching you. Cynthia, switch. No. Cynthia, switch. No. Cynthia, Cynthia, switch. Fine, I'm gonna ask you what guy more yet. Dev, come here now. You yeah. lost it. You lost it. Come here now. <laughs> that's a valid question. You lost it. You lost it. He was gonna say, but he needs to ask you the question. Ask him the question. You lost it. Come here now. Ask him the question first. Come on me right now. What is this? What is this? I'll tell you. You come here right now. That's a monkey. Come here. That's, that's racist. Not. That's a monkey. Come here now. That's that's well, that's that is not a monkey. Devin, get up, Devin. Devin. <laughs> that is an Aztec pattern. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh shit! Stand up first. Stand you just want me to grind on you. <laughs> <laughs> you just want me to shake some ass. Be real. Oh my god. Oh, why'd you say so? I said so. Get your ass. Dude, those shits do not look like animals, though. I'm not even kidding. Those shits do oh, not look like animals. Oh, it's a koala! Okay, that... Dude! <laughs> I hate them, Christine. Yeah.
Okay. Oh my god. Sup left side, how we doing tonight? Okay. What's up left side? Woo! Fuck that side. Fuck that side. Fuck that side. Hey! Hey! Okay. He's mad. Do I have to put these on? I'm just gonna let No, you don't need to. I'm just gonna let him get it out. <laughs> oh, I wanna put them on. Okay. We put it yeah. Yeah. That's gonna be too That's far now. If it's too long. Can you push it a little towards me? If it's too a little long, bit more. Oh my God. A little bit more. That's that's all you get. No, it's not. Okay. If it's too long, would you ever fake it? Or are you guys just calling no, it a quits? No, I would tell him to get off of me. This is like TMI, but like I don't know. I feel like I finish pretty fast for the most part. Mm. Yeah, same. Okay, then for your homegirls, like if you guys ever talk about it, are they usually kind of just saying like? Devin, we don't I really talk it. about like. We like talk about it, be like, oh, like you guys ever fake it, haha. And we're like, yeah, but like we don't like go in depth about it. So I don't really know. That's surprising. I didn't think, like, I haven't met a guy that's like faked it though before. Bro, what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? I'm gonna kill somebody. What is this? It's a bear. It's a fucking hippo. That's a oh. bear. <laughs> I don't know what it is. No details on that. It's a bear. Yeah, it's a bear. They, they gave up, bro. Yeah. They gave up on doing that shit. It has a penis. <laughs> So like yeah, like by the first time, like if it keeps going for a long time, then I'm faking it. That's surprising. I never met a guy that's faked it. I don't know how you fake it. <laughs> can I can I hear how you faked like, it? Did I'm you hear done. the aw? Like, <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'm done. Like, you did it just like, alright, I'm done. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> There's they would know. They would know that you faked it if you just hit him with the I'm done. Maybe if if I'm not saying I'm done, I'm just saying like like Maybe not, not if she was drunk. Right. Give me an example. Well, like, we, yeah, we would both be drunk, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Give me, so. give me an example. Why are you faking it though? Why not just say that? Because oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, like sometimes, you know what I mean? If they're having a good time, like, like just there, like, I can it's, tell it's you that done. if you're if you're faking it, they're not having a good time. Because that means you're not interested in it. Like, oh yeah. yeah not, yeah. not, they, not all a the girl time. can not tell. All the time. I think. I don't think it's it's not interested. It's just like you know, you know what I mean. Mm -mm. See, but it's, it's, I don't know. I don't know. I've never, never had drunk sex, so. Uh, yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's I've beautiful. Never had, I've, I've never had drunk sex. Really? It's it's yeah. beautiful. It's life changing. It's, it's magical. <laughs> it's pretty. A lot of awe. It's pretty awe. Yeah. A lot of awe. <laughs> a lot of awe. <laughs> I mean, like, I've been, like, fucking, like, faded. That's that's nice. different. That's no. different. Yeah, Faded that's way different. Is not on is nothing. It's like worse sometimes. Yes, okay, yeah, that's uh, face sex is not. Drunk sex is yeah, fun. Yeah, mouth like a motherfucker. It's yeah, bro, like, it's not. It's honestly, not fun. I cannot even talk to a girl. Faded. Yeah, no, I can't either. I, I'm like, I'm so in my head about it. I'm just like, damn, that was a really bad joke. Yeah. Or like, I could have made a joke right here. And it was, it's so bad. Mm -hmm. There's no way I'm having sex faded. Dude, have you all ever tried a poppers? Pop rocks? What's a popper? Battery acid, like, yeah. like it's, sex it's battery enhancer, acid cleaner. But basically, you use it and you're like you get high for like thirty seconds. It's the best feeling in the world. Your butt, butt, butt. <laughs> I've never what? used it. Just, just. <laughs> <laughs> that's like that's my favorite feeling in the world. <laughs> your butt. Yeah, it's just, it relaxes your butt. So people like like guys aren't use they, it before like Aren't the girls like supposed to do it? Like, isn't the girls supposed what? to do Why it? Why do you want your butt relaxed? No, so I'm trying to say like guys Wait. use it like. For like what though? For butt sex. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Next question of the night. So, again to the girls, have you guys ever like, has your man's ever done something semi weird and you were kind of okay with it, but then you went to your girlies for like advice and they made you get mad? <laughs> but like us going to the girlies for advice in the first place, you know like something's a little sus. But, and, do you think that's justified though to like Hell get yeah. mad because your homegirls are telling you to get mad? Yeah, my girls. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, but sometimes I'll literally <laughs> just like flat out ignore it and be like, ah, eh, like I'll do it anyways. Yeah, but like, okay, so something happened. You're kind of like, oh, you maybe you even brought it up to him and he made you feel okay about it, but you're still suspect. And then, but yeah, even if I do go to my girlfriend, sometimes they will be like, oh, like don't worry about it, like you're chipping. Or it can be like, nah, like, nah. No, nah, that's something you should get mad about? Yeah, but I do take it into consideration, definitely. But you're saying that you, ha you have had a moment, though, where, like, you weren't really tripping about something, but your girlies kind of said something to you, and you were like, damn, like, 
maybe I should be tripping about this. Or like, damn, maybe they're right. Like I should be mad or I should bring this back up. For me, it's always been like, kind of like the opposite reaction where like, I know that this isn't the best thing, but like I've gotten mad at my friends for like getting in my business or like telling me what to do in a relationship but not because you're going to them yeah. not because you're not because you're going to them with advice right just because they're trying to put their nose in your business <laughs> no nah, you're going to she goes to everybody for like advice you're like not everybody so like yeah you do all your friends wait, so like if you if let's say instead of like if you go out to them and wait wait, wait that's what you were saying right what if you go out to them for what you just said either for either advice. you're going to them for advice or yeah basically for advice yeah. about like a certain situation and then they make you get mad yeah like you're saying that that you guys have all like shared in that moment where like you thought something maybe wasn't that big of a deal and then you went to them and like no like this is fucked up this is weird mm -hmm. like you should be getting mad about yeah. this and then yeah. you've gotten mad at your yeah. mans because of it but that's what i'm saying like if i'm going first like i already have like like why am i going to them mm. for advice about this if i'm not already like that was a little weird. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Oh, right, yeah. So okay. they, it's just more of like reassurance or like justifying my like opinions. So like they, they just like validate, like I, I'd be like, I'm not crazy for thinking this, right? And they'd be like, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. So what if you're crazy thinking about it and they're just like, nah, you probably shouldn't trip about that. Like, I gotta say that's idea. rarely happened. Has there been a moment where you were kind of like mad at your mans for something and then you went to them and they were like, nah, like it's not that big of a deal. I have to think about it. Like it's that's rare. Fine. Do you think it's justified though? For you to like think nothing of this situation, then you go to your homegirls and they make you get mad. You think it's justified for you to like go back and like yell at your, or not even yell at your mans, but get mad at your mans at, because you talked with your girlfriends about it? No. You don't think it's justified? I mean, I think, I okay, me three years ago, I would have like gone to my boyfriend, like all hell broke loose. Okay. But like now it's like me being angry like initially wasn't caused because of him like i got like riled up because my friends were like yeah he fucked up and That's i was like right like yeah he fucked mm -hmm. up and so like i don't think it's fair to take that energy and then like just push it onto your boyfriend that's what i'm saying like because yeah. you could be like oh like i thought you were like, just good it can like escalate so badly yeah because like what if he thinks that like you're doing like perfectly fine and like you didn't have an issue with exactly. anything and then you're just exactly. coming at him yeah, like what the fuck is your problem exactly like, and I, yeah. think, I think that's a real thing like you have that's a conversation crazy. you have a conversation like with your girl and you know she brings up something to you and you're like oh no it's like it's not that it's it's not like that big of a deal or you explain to her what yeah. went on and she's and like she's oh still, yeah and she's like okay yeah. fine like that's okay mm -hmm. but then she texts her group chat or texts the girl and yeah. she's like how should i really feel about this and then she comes back later and starts getting mad at you. And then it's like, why are you getting mad at me when we just had yeah, this I'd conversation? Yeah, I'd be pretty mad. I would be I mean, kind of pressed I, too. I just told you everything and then now you're just gonna uh -huh. go and ask she, somebody else for advice on our relationship. Like, I just told you. Exactly, yeah. especially if she says, well, I talked to my homegirls and they told me I should be mad. No, I'm no, like, no. you're being told to get mad at me. Uh -huh. you, know? you should be working on it together. Like it's, exactly. yeah. you should be exactly. talking to your partner first about it. Okay, so what? how do you feel about it now? Like. After like she said what she said, like yeah. if you went to your girls for advice again and they started to get you riled up about it, do you think you'd still come back at your man's mat? Yeah. yeah, no, I'm 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 taking their whatever they're saying to me in consideration. I'm not going back to my bands and being like, My friend said this, blah blah blah, like fuck. My you. friend told me I should be mad about this. I'm okay. not saying so, that so shit. So if he's like, Oh, like where'd you get that from? Are you gonna say I'm not saying my friends? Say just so what do you, so what if he says like you were literally cool about this, like Yes, sure. That's what that's what I was thinking. I feel like, like the, no, yeah. in, in, in like a real situation, that would play out. Yeah. yeah. Like you were literally we literally talked about this you yesterday. You were cool yesterday. Like why are you so like, upset now? No. But that wouldn't happen. I wouldn't be cool with it. Because I'm going to my friends to talk about it. But after we already talked about it though, and I've said like, yo, it's it's you're okay, but you're still like there's something still in the back of your mind, still like you get oh, what I mean. So and then like, I go to my friends. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. And like, then, like, like, then okay. yeah, yeah. Then I'll go back to him. I won't say that my friend. I don't think I've ever brought up like because I've done that. I've gone to my friends to talk about it, and I went back to like, talk about it with my man. But it. I haven't ever said like I talked to my friends and like they said this. Have Have your girl homies ever gotten you really, really mad though about something that you originally weren't mad about? Like gotten mm -hmm. you really riled up? No. no. Wait. Uh, well, like what? Uh, something what that he did. Like something that he did that you kind of shrugged off, and then your girls like were like, nah. You should be fucking pissed at oh. him. Like you got it. Like, it's gotten you really like mad about it. Something that you thought was kind of like not that you were yeah. nonchalant about. 
you have. But so the scenario was like, <laughs> it was like, we were, so I was like dating this guy, we were in it, but like there was just like a lot of like shit that I was just like not okay with. And like during like the span of like however long that was, I was like talking to my girlfriends about it and like, just like talking about it. And then they would like tell me like, kind of like, like advice about up. it shit like that but in the moment obviously like i wasn't seeing those red flags like i was just like looking past it mm. and then later after <laughs> like i don't know maybe like we break up or like he fucks me over and then i go back to them and then we like talk about it and then they like explain it again and i'll be like yeah that was so fucked up what the fuck mm. that's kind of what i'm talking about but that i wouldn't go back to him about it, it would have to be like <sighs> done and then they and like make are. me realize we're like Got it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, to the guys, has it has like have you ever run like a, like a situation similar to that where you kind of shrugged off something your girl did and they guys I feel like have made you get mad about I it? I feel like guys go before like before the argument even happens. Like speaking from our standpoint, whenever like I've had any sort of problem, whether it be like relationship or like myself, like friendship shit, like he's always like. It's never been like that where he's like, like you should, you should be, be upset. Be yeah. Like, like he, you should be like, like realize this. He's just always been like, uh, just giving me like genuine advice to where I've been like, okay, like take a step back and breathe rather than be like, yeah, I should be pissed or like I shouldn't be. Mm. It's always like, like I get both sides, but like do what you want to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's never been like yeah, one-sided been, influence. Yeah. And never like, oh, like not even. Or like you should do this. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not even after the conversation. Like, we'll always like, it would always be a conversation after. So he'd be like, okay, well, go talk to her on this day or like give her a couple of days to think about it. You yeah. think about it too. He'd be like, okay, like I'll make a day to go talk to her then. Mm-hmm. It's always much better like that, bro. Always. Mm-hmm. Would you guys be confused if like you had a conversation with the girl about a topic, it like went well, and then all of a sudden she comes back to you with the same topic, but like a little bit more angry about it? Well, yeah, I'm going to know that she talked to her. To are her you going to automatically, are you going to automatically know yeah, that? Yeah, uh, automatically, yeah. I think guys could tell. Mm-hmm. Would you be like mad about it? Would you be like, well, who the fuck did you, like talk? Did you talk to like? Why are you so mad? Like, did you talk to somebody? I, about I it? wouldn't. No, nah, I wouldn't I'm go as far as that. I'm gonna know who it. Who is talking to? You definitely to. know. Yeah. Like, I can I tell when can tell. a guy goes to a girl for advice. Ooh, how? On how he handles a situation. How? That's something you should not do too. Yeah. You should not do that. Go to go to like your go home to girl a girl for, for advice, advice about another girl. Yeah. You should never do that. I hate that. But, like, you can tell. It's just, like, the way that they say things. Like, just... Is it more, like, logical? Or it's is more it nuanced. Like, he's... Like, this is a... Yeah, word, 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 baby. Hey. Like, You're I don't welcome. know. welcome. Like, you can tell when <laughs> he's, like, just copy-pasting, like, what his, like, homegirl is, like, telling it's him like to he, say. Yeah. It's a girl trying to sound like him talking to me. Yeah. So it's like this guy's not even using his own lingo. Nah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You ah. can tell. And you can tell that it's a girl saying yeah. it. Yeah, he starts throwing words in, like, nuanced in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. not gonna lie, I got I got taught nuance by a girl too. That's exactly. that's kind of crazy. No way. Yeah. Nick is stealing my words. All what does that time. mean though? What, is, what does nuance mean? I still like, don't know. Neutral or like what what is what is nuance? Mean? Nuance just means like it's vague. <laughs> that vague? I don't know. No, I don't know. Okay, wait, you no. said what is nuance? Did you just say like nuance? It's no. characterized. I you said that. I was like, what? Sage. Huh? It's having a care having or characterized by subtle and often appealing complex qualities. So it just is like multi-layered. <laughs> okay, okay, like multi-dimensional. Right. It's, 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 it's deeper than that. Like yeah. split. Multifaceted. Yeah. Not, okay. flaccid? Not faceted. Oh, I thought you said flaccid. It's, it's not superficial. Damn, wait, that's flaccid. crazy. You know, if a guy goes to his a girl for oh, advice, yeah. absolutely, man. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. No guy should ever do that. Like, you don't ask a girl how to pick up another girl. What? You don't do that. Like, if you were to ask, like. Okay, let's say you were really down bad, right? I have like, been very down bad, yeah, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, you would never ask a girl how to get another girl. You wouldn't go to advice. If I were like, what? Cynthia, uh-huh. I'm having trouble getting girls. You're like, oh, we'll do this. But I feel like you wouldn't do like, that? No. Yeah? If I was down no, astronomically, I mean, why, I mean, why wouldn't I ask Looking for girl. love? What I'm going off base is just like what's going on in like the whole fucking Cynthia. thing. Because I've, I've seen multiple videos on it where they say like, yeah, you shouldn't ask a girl to do that just because it's not realistic. I feel like 
the girls I feel like you and Mario have put me on game where it's like compliment a girl like on her like style compliment a girl not don't just compliment okay, her yeah, fucking well, eyes you or definitely word, hit me with word the for word bar for bar yeah yeah I'm saying like word for word bar for bar though yeah yeah I've hit I feel like I've hit you up like what do I say now bro literally mm. that one time in the car with fucking Carrie yeah that's pretty specific <laughs> yeah but that was different though <laughs> No, well, it wasn't. No, like, it wasn't fuck what I said. Yeah. Well, no, I was going based off of what I saw. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's what that's what they said. So I was like, it makes sense. And then like, but what you said right now, it does make sense. So not to. I think like that kind of advice is fine. How to pick up girls? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, that's, I'm going girls. based off what I saw on the internet. Oh, so right, it's right. like, yeah. I am. Yeah. That's a, what am I? <laughs> well, fuck my. I'm playing. I'm playing. Like, if you and your girlfriend are fighting, like, don't go to Cynthia and be like. Well, that's what I was. Yeah. Okay. 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 Honestly, yeah. I was trying to. Neutralize it almost like for both things, yeah. but I guess that, that does make sense. You wouldn't go to your homeboy, no, for a device, hell about your boyfriend? No. no. What if it was like okay? Because I like I said, I feel like guys are only friends with girls for like two reasons, okay? But what if it was someone that you knew, like a, a homeboy that you know you've known for a really long time and he has a girlfriend, especially if he has a girlfriend, I'm not going <laughs> to him. How fucking long have I known you? How many guys have I dated since I've known you? And how many times have I gone to you for? advice See, about that's guys. facts but Madu be coming to me for advice though Madu does Madu, and Madu be asking like our, our homeboys like for advice yeah. too probably should just ask everybody though but that's true Cynthia's never once asked me for like guy advice before that because that's, yeah, I don't know she doesn't respect my advice that's I don't what know what like it right is like wait mm. no but it's a fact it's a fact I don't know if it's like the same with like all your guy homies but you've never once come to me with like any issue about a guy that you're dating you come to me asking like how to like this guy I, this guy's kind of cute like how should i slide blah blah but not someone that you're dating yeah because that that makes sense i i i can agree with that i don't think you should be going to your homegirl or your homeboy if you're dating someone and asking them for advice yeah i do think yeah. that's weird yeah yeah that's true i don't really be going to my homegirls for advice while i'm dating the guy no homegirls or you yeah. mean homeboys both for her both like while we're like in it, like he's my boyfriend. Yes, like I yes. don't, I don't really be going to people for advice. Like that's my relationship. I be talking a hell of to people when I'm in like the talking stage. Like okay. oh my god, blah 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 blah. Yeah. Blah. Oh, he did this. Yeah. Blah blah. Okay, okay. Blah, blah. But when I'm dating the guy, it's like I'm pretty much like, like we'll solve the shit together, or I'll try to. If you're dating somebody, do you think that it's okay for you to go to ask your friends for advice about situations with that person? Absolutely. You think it's okay? I think yeah. so. Yeah. But not Wait. for you, because you don't want outside influence, or what? Because you just said earlier, you just said right now, that was I was just reiterating the question. You don't want outside influence, kind of like, I, it, this is me in the relationship, I'm going to make the choices, I don't need advice on what I'm going to do. I guess, yeah, I just don't want other people's, like, because, I don't know, like, maybe I know that, like, it's wrong, or, like, it's toxic in some way, and I don't want people, like, telling me that, because, like, I know, but then, like, I want to, like, I'm not like seeing That's it or whatever. Different. That's a very different thing. Yeah, like. so it's kind of it kind of goes back to what you were talking about last week. It was like you don't want to know, Basically. like you don't want to be told that it's toxic because you already kind of know, and you don't want to come to the realization of it. That's why you don't want to tell anybody your problems. Yeah, you gotta kind of see somebody. <laughs> with your problems, right? it, it's honestly like you know what I mean. You get everybody so knows something. Yeah. You gotta pick somebody else's brain to mm -hmm. get more knowledge on some stuff that you kind of don't True. really know. You know exactly, I mean? it's always like that. I mean, I've done both. Like, in my really bad relationships, I don't talk to anybody about... Like, no one knew anything because I was, like, embarrassed about it. Yeah, and, like, you low-key just don't want, like, yeah. people knowing that it's, like, bad. Yeah, and so, like, then I really didn't tell anybody. But, like, if it's, like, a guy that's, like, decent, sometimes, yeah, I'll, I'll go to, like, my best friend and just text her, like, what do I do about this? And, like, how should I have a conversation with him? okay so um oh god i was gonna say like for me um i kind of get like peace through talking to people about my, my, about my problems like i always go to you for yeah. everything mm -hmm. and it's like uh, <laughs> that's weird it's, not, it's like I'm, i don't even exist or anything you never had a girlfriend <laughs> that's why <laughs> i'm kidding i'm not kidding <laughs> yeah, like, you just need to have knowledge bro yeah, like i'd be like, going to my friends who have already been like, in relationships like, yeah i don't mean to say it but i'm Stop pretty damn me. Plus, like, we have similar values. Yeah, exactly. So, like, so, I know if I'm, like, something. tripping about yeah. something or something, and you're, like, like bro, like, yeah, ease up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, like, we don't true. Have, we don't have similar values? 
Thank you. Yeah. Really yeah. Sure. I'm playing. I'll fuck with you. I'll fuck with you. I'll fuck with you. Oh, yeah. But it's, that's what I'm like. Kind of like opposite of Cynthia, I guess. Like, I, I like go to people when I, I need advice or anything, and it's like it's not, I don't have to use it. It's just like the fact that I let it out, like what's mm -hmm. bothering me, that just helps me alone. Yeah. Whether like I take that advice, like. Yeah, because then you really you really hear yourself and everything. Like yeah. yeah. Saying it out loud, like you don't even need advice back. I feel like you just saying yeah. it out loud is also like. It's yeah, just, like this, especially relationship touch. wise, like mm -hmm. like back then, especially remember like the good old days. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Freaking, um, like, I would just be going through it sometimes, and, like, I knew, like, some of the shit I was doing or tripping about wasn't good or, like, it was valid, but, like, just talking to, like, Sage, Carrie, or, like, anybody, like, Hell yeah. it just helped me in general. Hell yeah. Not even, like, it's not even, like, you don't have to take the advice, but, like, if something's bothering you, just talk to somebody. I do yeah. that shit hella till I'm, like, dating the guy, but, like, I be doing that a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, going to my friends for advice. Yeah. Yeah, and it's not like I, I don't go to like randoms. Like I go to like yeah. people who hold the same values or people I truly trust. You know what I mean? Yeah, but sorry, you just looked like, so lost while I was talking to you. I look lost. Yeah. Why? You always look lost. I yeah, do. I yeah. yeah, you always look lost. I do, you guys are talking. I totally zoned out. Like, it's Twenty really, minutes. It's totally okay. I was eating Cheetos, just like. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I think I think you should go to somebody. Like you should always get yeah. advice, bro. Uh, advice is always should yeah. be taken. Like even if. It's not the best advice. You should just at least listen. It gives you a different yeah. perspective. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yes. I don't think, like, I get what you were saying earlier about, like, it's, like, my business. I want to do, because I want to do what I want to do. But I feel like if you always think that you can't get advice from someone, that's a little bad. Because it's, like. Nick, no, but I literally said in the beginning, I'm always going to my girlfriends to talk no, about. No, I, I know. But, like, when you're dating somebody, though. And, like, let's say he brings up something that you you have no experience on. You know, but you know that your homegirl does have some experience, like on this specific situation. I feel like you, sh it's a you should go to them for advice, but like if they start getting you mad and riled up about it, I feel like that's on. They shouldn't. I feel like that's where your homegirl's out of out of place. Yeah, they like, should never I, push something on. Yes, you. I feel like I yeah. feel like if if you go to anybody for advice, homegirls, homeboys, and going back to the original, case, oh my god, going back to the original <laughs> question about like them getting you mad i feel like it's the the duty of like whoever you're going to to not really get you mad about something or riled up about Dude, something but kind of like just tell you like what's going on nah you don't nah, think so nah. See, i'm going to my girlfriends to fucking rant about this guy and for them to get hyped up with me and be like yeah fuck that see nah because, that's like, not a good thing though that's not when a good i was thing, okay like the this is like the one example i can think of because like i was dating this guy Okay, and he cheated on me. But then that was like when I went to my girlfriend's was okay. like, bro, he fucking cheated on me. And then I laid that shit That's all different. out. If That's different. That's really different. If you guys came to me saying this girl cheated on me, I would definitely be like, fuck, like yeah. fuck her for sure. That's what I'm saying. But I'm talking about something, just like, a, little, like a situation, just a situation yeah. that like, was like, suspect. Before you were saying like, oh, like I don't want to go to them because I knew I was in the wrong. Like if you already know you're in the wrong, you kind of need to get advice for them to tell you like, yeah, it's no, valid for fair. them to be that's like, fair. yo, this is like and they kind of okay. should get not riled up but they should get you your emotions going but like okay this guy fucked up like yeah. Yeah. i should be getting out of i this definitely do be way. asking them like oh what do you think like See, they're thinking this about is what, this what i'm saying though you going to your homegirl saying this guy cheated on me you're not looking for advice I'm you're not. just going that's around. what i'm saying yeah. okay, you're not yeah. looking for advice but if you go into your homegirls and being like hey he kind of like talk to the bar the barista the coffee person like a little bit too long and then being like oh that's fucking weird like blah blah that's then, where it's like <laughs> stop yeah. You know, but you go into advice like, oh, he always talks to this girl, like, or he gets food or coffee from this girl every day. You know, they no, talk. No, I'm telling her it's sus. This has literally happened so recently. And I think the homegirl should be like, yeah, that is kind of sus. Maybe you should bring it up. Versus them being like, that's Fuck that fucking guy. weird. Yeah, no. Bring that shit up to him right now. No, that's like, me. I don't know. That's I'm straight up me. Like I'll I'll be like, what the fuck? Nah. Like that's a coworker he gets food with. See, nah. I'm saying, I'm saying fucking that, bring that I'm shit up. That that's not okay. I'm saying that that's not justifiable. I don't think you should be getting any of your friends riled up to get mad. Whatever. At the My girlfriends are coming to me to get riled up with them. I've gotten that before. They're like, Cynthia, I Damn. come to you to get mad with me. That's true because sometimes, like, if I'm mad and I need somebody and like, else to be mad, like, I know that if I go to Cynthia, it's like. I need to get riled up because like or I want to or people that's come that. to me for like the tough love advice, yeah you know like bitch See, that's crazy wake up. are you guys going are you guys going to anybody to get like are you guys going well, to any of your homeboys to get about, mad like, well we bro literally we were just like we have a chill talk and then we're like 
I just got food. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like, <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like, I don't think we've ever, I, I, like, everything that I do I is like, it's like, especially with him, like, I'm trying to think of like both sides, you know what yeah. I mean? So like, everybody has an opinion and it's okay for you to feel your feelings. Yeah, if you're coming so to like, for me for my opinion though, I'm going to give it to it's you. It's going to be, yeah, okay. So yes. we already know what they're getting so from you. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. yeah. Okay. See, I'm not picking yeah. sides though. Like obviously, I'm gonna I'm be. All, I'm gonna my be. Girlfriend side. See, that's different. But okay, but he reality checks me a lot too. Exactly. Okay, but guys need that kind of thing. Like, but you're saying girls don't? No. Nah. See that? Yes. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Stop doing that. You need to stop doing that. I'm literally kidding. I'm literally kidding. I just, you better I just be. zoned out. What you said? Wait, do you mean I that? Said, no, I said okay, like good. guys need someone to be like, "Ayo, chill." Like reason the. Oh, nah. you're saying nah, not for me. Don't work like yeah, that. But I was, ki- I was okay. kidding. Okay. No, <laughs> no, you're. Not. I'm literally kidding. Uh, <laughs> guys. Uh, <laughs> hey, to be fair, I have not a single earth or water sign in my chart. So I have no clue that. <laughs> I have no fucking idea what, what that's means. supposed to mean. I have only air and fire signs. So yeah, she's a fiery hot. So I'm tempered. a Capricorn. Yeah. <laughs> Capricorn. I have earth, water, and fire. Do you have the last? Do you have the last? Uh, <laughs> <Air> <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> no. What? Do you have the last one? Do you have the last one? <laughs> no, don't say it. Don't say it. <laughs> you know, I'm say it. you're you're homegirls, and you know which homegirls you're going to for See, advice. That's what it is too. That yeah. Makes sense. yeah. Well, that's what I'm yeah. saying. You're you're going to whoever's gonna pick your side. Like yeah. if I'm going to someone who needs to get like no. riled up with me, I'm going to Atlas. If I need someone, sometimes like, so I don't no. go like. See, I think that's why that's why I always go to you first, though. Yeah. Because you keep it both sided, and I know it. Mm. So like, it won't it won't always be like, oh, bro, you should feel this way. Like, like, you fucking put me in check, or you like you let me know like, yo, it's okay to feel that way. Instead of being like, yeah, she fucked up. You yeah. should feel that way. Yeah. You're like, bro, it's okay to feel like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? There's a difference. So between do you those have words. someone you go to to get? This fool. No, to get like like wrapped <coughs> up with. No. I don't I don't know. I don't I don't know any guys that are like that have told me even that like yeah, like I go to him when I'm fucking mad so that they get mad with me. Could you imagine Honestly, could you imagine a room full of guys just being Honestly. like, Yeah, fuck her, dude? Yeah. Like that's so Ooh. weird. Ooh. No, but there is guys that just they just like to get fucking wrapped up. They'll be like, "Yo, fuck this bitch!" Like, like and all this stuff. I'm just like, bro, like you're not giving yeah, me any see. advice. You're not. You're not. You're I feel like I feel like people that are, like you're getting mad with them because they want you to get because they yeah. you want them to validate whatever you're mad about. But it's like yes. it's like someone who's doing that isn't giving you advice. They're just validating. They're just yeah. agreeing yeah. with you. Yeah. That's what I'm they're saying. Just, I'm going to them for reassurance or validation about. But my they're things. not giving you the but other what if you're side in the of wrong. it. Yes, That's they're not giving you the other side of it. What if truly in the wrong? Doesn't matter. I'm going to them to like. But be on my side but what, that could like escalate a, a yeah, okay. situation that I'm, you're wrong in dude, is what this, i'm saying our con- we girls talk a lot so maybe at first it starts with like yeah like we're like <laughs> <laughs> screaming at like and shit but we'll like ease out and they'll be like we'll talk it out so they're telling you when you're wrong though huh they're telling you like when you're wrong have you ever been told by your homegirls when you're in the wrong i have if it is yeah they'll be like I mean, like, me, like, they'll give him the benefit of the doubt and be like, I mean, like, I really don't know. Maybe talk to him about it. Like, that's what I would say, at least. Mm. Okay. I can see how it's different talks then. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's a little, that's a little strange. It's almost like the guys are more level headed than the women. Don't even get started. Stop. <laughs> guys, that's what it sounds like. like. That's what it sounds like. Guys, just that's brush that shit off. No, no, because uh, girls like okay, actually no, like general, experience all the emotions, guys and guys general, will be like, "eh, whatever." A lot of guys are kind of just like, "fuck that bitch," yeah, exactly. like to yeah, be real. That's what I'm saying. Guys yeah, but like, there's hey, a lot of different people that have different morals in life, and like they just. It's just very different people. That is true. Yeah. Some dudes go to their boys and tell tell them something that was like, "oh, fuck that bitch." Yeah, exactly. And that's it. Hey, let's go play some COD. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. <laughs> that's that's fucking that was bars. How do you know about that? <laughs> Who told you, huh? Who told you about COD, huh? That's when they that's when they get all the anger out when they're shooting motherfuckers. Yeah. That's literally how it is. That's how girls should do it too. I play zombies. I haven't played zombies in years. Oh yeah? Black Ops two. What, you which gun do you get? Which which is the best gun in the game? Black AK Ops two. Forty seven. <laughs> Motherfucking shoulder. What the fuck? Okay, I don't know. Wrong. It's the ray gun. In Anyways. PUBG, I be using the Uzi. Ray gun. I got the ray gun. <laughs> <laughs> ray gun. I got the bear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Other than that, guys, like. I'm cool to keep it at least semi short tonight. We got some good yeah. questions. One in. more. Um, I think we should one, do more. one more. One more question. Now can we end it? Um, one more. Now you get one more. <laughs> one more. One more. 
Well, I because this last I, question was so round, we just went around. You were also circles. you were also filming for like 10, 15 minutes. I'm at an hour thirty five, but I can ask one more question. I say one more. <laughs> but sorry, whoever's hitting that their vape is making me cough. Sound. Someone's hitting their vape and it's making me cough. Um, would you guys still wear your ex's clothes? Yeah, I still do. Yeah, they're mine now. It's not his. <laughs> Damn! Oh, damn. <laughs> like even on like dates, like you bring the hoodie. I've done that. No, not on date, but I, I've worn it in bed. <laughs> <laughs> but like they don't know. Oh my God. Listen, no, he knows. He knows, bro. He knows. No, no, he knows. No, he he knows. Knows. He knows. no, I think they know because they've like that's asked just me like, who gave that to like, you? You're like, that's not your sweater, bro. But. Like there's no, I have no emotional connection to it whatsoever. It's a fucking. It's that's a nice bad. Don't matter though. Yeah, that's, that's literally bad. his. Like, no, it's you're mine. Not, <laughs> it's not it is mine. That's bad. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean you heard that shit? <laughs> no, bro. Wait, I'm that's, feeling straight disrespected. I'm feeling disrespected. Like, I'm like you're socks. in my, you're in my crib. If we're dating, and you got your ex's hoodie on, like. <laughs> That's what crazy. Hey, yo, where'd you get that hoodie from? Okay, would you wear your ex's clothes around your current boyfriend if you had it in the closet for like a minute, like a hoodie? Yes. It's no, mine. Lydia, you can't say that. It's I wear, I wear his like boxers to sleep. Like, no, that's, that's even worse. So, oh, that's even worse. Damn, what the fuck bro. are we doing, guys? <laughs> Fellas, get your shit back. <laughs> yeah, get your fucking it's shit back now. It's not theirs. It's mine. You yeah. gave it to me. You're not getting shit back. It's mine. That's okay, but you can still keep it, but just don't why wear it on I, the. Why boyfriend. would I keep it if I didn't wear it? That's I would true. throw it away. You or like, if I didn't like boyfriend. it, I would just give it back to him. But what if you? What if no, it's, it's mine. Let's say, let's say it's a sick, hey, let's say it's a, it's a sick ass hoodie. Yeah, it's mine. Yeah. Is you're keeping and you're keeping and you're wearing it. I don't yeah. know why you keep asking the same question over and over again. Okay, would you ever? Because it sucks it? to hear. Hey, hey, <laughs> let's say let's say it's a sick ass. Yeah. Let's say it's a sick ass hoodie, sick ass shirt, whatever, anything like that. Would you ever wear it and post it on your social media? Like yeah. you, yeah. Imagine it's a picture with the boyfriend, <laughs> and he's like, "That's my hoodie." See, that's <laughs> fucked. Oh, wait, that is I fucked. Did that. You did that? Like, that's oh, what'd you do? God, what'd you do? I realized that uh, I just did that. What'd you do? I was wearing my ex's hoodie in a picture that I posted with the guy I was dating at the time. <laughs> That's <laughs> bad. <laughs> and he liked the picture. <laughs> <laughs> See, no, he knows, bro. Like, 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 like he already, no, he's ex, like, he's like, like, yeah, her legs like it. Like, he's uh, like, he thinks like, okay. Yeah, I'm done. I'm, I goof that guy. Like that guy's an idiot. That's what. I'm, that's how I would feel. Wait, 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 wait. wait. What? What would you feel like? Like if in what? a situation, her like, ex liked the picture. Did. Yeah. So her yeah, ex is gonna be like, this guy's a fucking goofball. He, yeah, like, he's right there posted with my <laughs> sweater in the picture. Bro, goofy, like, bro. Imagine, goofy. imagine this. Imagine this. Imagine your current girlfriend gives you her ex's hoodie and it's a sick ass hoodie i give it and y'all <laughs> <laughs> that's what i'm saying it's just no, a yeah. piece of clothing i don't know i don't know i don't i don't know if it's if i know if it's like a kid cutty hoodie but give me that shit you all know right let me hit you with this you're wearing the hoodie to bed i'm dating you okay okay and i'm like <laughs> <laughs> and i'm like i'm like where'd you get the hoodie from what are you saying it's my brother's <laughs> that's a really sick hoodie where'd you get it from are you telling the truth yeah are you yeah, telling the truth really. See, like you would contemplate it. That's the bad part. I mean, like I've had I've had people ask me that question, and I've given both answers. I've said like, "Oh, it's my exes," and I've also just said like, "Oh, it's my friends," or like, "Oh, I just stole it." Do you, well, how do they take it when you say it's your exes? N they don't say anything. I know they feel do a they certain way. Like, <laughs> they give the kind of like, okay. <laughs> if they if they feel it, then they don't tell me. I don't know. It's just close to me. Like the chain from last week. That was like, it meant nothing to me. How how would you guys feel about that? If oh, I'm pissed. I would be fucking pissed. Is that a fight right there? Is that a fight? No, I'd keep it to myself. But I'd be like, what the fuck did I just hear? Like, you know what I mean? An enclosed problem. Okay. I'd be ticked off though, oh, for God. sure. That, that Imagine, that imagine. Might, that might just set, like, like. That's that's on y'all. That's not on us. No, I feel like that's, that's on y'all. That's, that's, that's not on that's, us. That's, you're giving me something that belonged to another man. Oh, before? not giving. No, like, no. Me, like, they're wearing it around oh. you. And you're like, yo, whose hoodie is that? Because and they go, let me tell oh, you, no, I, still, I was still mad about that one. Yeah, so. yeah but that's what I'm saying. That's on you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I wouldn't break up with you for it, but I'd be like, no, like that's weird. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not break up. <laughs> yeah, I, no, no, not break up. I'd just be like, yo, that's fucking weird. Hey, yeah, I just think it's weird. All you're saying is that's fucking weird. You saying like, I don't want you wearing that around me. 
I think it's enough for me to be like. I think it's enough for me to be like, yo, that's fucking weird, bro. Like, I'm. That's it, but not, not. I don't want to see that. Look, if he said that, I would not wear it around. Yeah, that's yeah. What I'm saying. That's what they, they, they if he said that's weird, that's happened before. Said, yeah, yeah he's like, weird, did, like, like he like knew my ex weird. gave it to me. I was like, what is that ex boyfriend's? I was like, yeah. But another time, he was like, another guy. I mean, my other ex was like, um, I said it was my ex's, and he was like, I was like, is that weird? And he was like, no, he gave it to you. It's yours. I was like, yeah, yeah. I feel like when a guy reacts like. I mean, if okay, if a guy tells me like, "Hey, I don't want to, I don't want you to wear that in front of me," like, I will, I will respect it, but at the same time, that would be like a ding to him. Yeah. Like, oh. I would still respect his thing by saying like, "Hey, this kind of bothers me." Like when you wear that around me, so I wouldn't wear it around him anymore. You're saying it's like a red flag. Yeah, it would like ding him a little bit because I'm like, "Are you that insecure?" Like I'm with you right now. Like it's. I don't think it's an insecure thing. I think it's just a respect thing. Like if you're wearing another man's like, wait, I have it's a just, question. Yeah, wait. If, no, no, no. Wait. Well, if, that's pretty much it. Oh. It's just respecting. Yeah. If, if the, let's say he, get like gave gifted me a hoodie for my birthday, versus me like grabbing a hoodie from his closet and being like, can I have that's this? That's different. different. Way different. So which is better? I think a gift is fine. Like if a guy, if nah. a man's gives you. Yeah. Bro, if my man's like kept a gift from a girl versus like some shit that he took from her because he liked it, yeah, it's totally different. Yeah. The gift is worse. Like if you kept really? the gift, yeah, no, nah, because that's hers, bro. If you think about it, that's hers. Yeah, like no, but he took it because he liked it. Like he was like, oh, I want this. Well, that's okay. that's still hers though. That's got what are something. They that's got something there. Because like if a guy just like takes, if a guy wants to take one of my t-shirts, I'll only give it to him if, if I, I don't, don't want like it. it. Exactly. So like. If I keep a gift that, it, like, if my ex boy, if my boyfriend like kept a gift from his ex girlfriend, like, like, I would be like, what the fuck, like, because there's like that, there's like this like intimate connection to this gift. See, I feel like the connection is when you you, when you keep the hoodie and you always want to yeah, wear it. Yeah, you know it. it's him. It, you know he yeah. was wearing it before. No, like no. that, that has more like no. yeah, no. because he's because fucking wearing it. That has no. more sentimental no. value. You, it's not a present. Like, it's like they, you wanted it. No, it's like why are you keeping the present? Like you guys have like you didn't even want that in the first place. Like she just gave it to you. Like it means nothing to you. Like I've had guys where I ask him like, oh, this is cool. Can I take it? They just say no if they really like it. Exactly. They say yeah because they don't really care much exactly. about it. And I've had guys ask for their shit back when we break up, and I give it back. But and it's not like I'm taking it from them because they're my boyfriend. I'm, yeah. It's like my boyfriend has shit that I like, so I'm gonna take it. Yeah. Damn. I'm not seeing it like that. After yeah, I'm not seeing. It. Don't get just don't give anything from your ex. That's all I'm saying. Sounds like that's a safe bet. I've but thrown away every gift my ex has given. I think like, I it's okay to keep that. stuff from your ex, but like if you get a boyfriend or a girlfriend and you're like repping that shit like often, yeah, nah. like I would feel uncomfortable. Is it the oftenness of it? often or just like it's just like uh, you got it I'm like, still, honestly, it's, it's uh it, it depends on like the situation. honestly i'm like, still not i'm still not tripping if my girl's wearing a gift that her ex yeah. man gave her versus this is my ex man's hoodie you would be more pissed off about hoodie, no, hoodie. Around. Yes. yeah me too yes i wouldn't be like it wouldn't be like because that was problem, his like that's I'd his. Be like that's weird yeah, yeah yeah that's crazy that's hit because it's like that's his that's like his shit like you're wearing his shit that was literally his. That's literally like his <laughs> shit. Like he was That's wearing it. That's what I'm saying. Like in the moment when I'm taking it, I'm not taking it because I'm like, oh, this is my boyfriend's shit. I'm taking it because he just happens to be there. His stuff I feel stuff like every time, I feel like every time you look at it, it, it goes back to like him wearing it. Though. But same goes with a gift. Nah. Yes, it does. It reminds you like, oh. I'm saying both's wrong. I'm saying don't keep anything, you know what I mean? But if I get a dope ass hoodie, I'm gonna that, keep that. Yeah. Really if I get a sick ass champion hoodie for my ex girlfriend, that shit is fucking sick. <laughs> I'm probably gonna give it to my like my little brother or something. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm not kidding. I guess See, like, okay, like I would like, I would keep some gifts, yeah. but I have gotten rid of g more gifts than I have than like just shit that I've taken. Got it. Got it. Because you think it's more sentimental. Or there's more yeah, of yeah, because, to that. Yeah, and then I was like I don't need like the shit I've taken. I'm like I want it. Like yeah, <laughs> like this morning I took a shirt. I was like I want this shirt. It's so soft. There was nothing behind it. Like literally, if, if, if it was one of you guys, and I was like this shirt is so soft. Can I take it? It's like the exact same thing. Interesting. It only matters for like I the first week that it smells I like him. I'm yeah, <laughs> I'm understanding like the the point of you guys, but I'm just saying like at the end of the day, I'm not gonna like like I'm not gonna be up That's for that. Cool. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> 
You yeah, exactly. Know. Everybody can feel their own feelings, but I mean, hey, that doesn't yeah. work out for no, everybody. I see, I see yeah. what you mean, though. Like, exes have told me, like, no, that's weird. So, yeah. I, And I respect it. I just mm. don't wear it. Yeah. But she don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. She don't give a fuck, fuck though, at the end of the day. Man. But that makes sense. As long as, I feel like as long as you guys are, like, yeah. at least, it, as long as he says something and you guys are, like, if he says something like that's a little weird, and then you guys yeah, are still respecting I'm, taking I'm, it off, yeah. that's okay. I would yeah. never. I think just, it'd like, be weird if yeah. they were to overreact about it and be like, "That's fucked up." Yeah, that'd like, be crazy. Throw like, it away. I, that's like, different from being like, that, "That's a little weird." I you think know what I mean? The red flag shouldn't be where it's like, "That's a little weird." The red flag is where it should be like, "Overreact." That, like that's fucking weird. Why are you still wearing his shit? Like throw yeah. that shit away. If he calls y'all being like. Yeah. That's disrespectful as fuck. Like yeah, right off the bat, yeah, yeah that's crazy. Bat. Yeah. But if you're like, it's my ex, and you're like, he reacts that like, overload. Crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. But, again, but it's okay to feel weird out about yeah. that shit. Are you? Yeah. You're still not telling the girl that you're seeing take it off though. You're just gonna say like that's. You want to give? I'll give you my honest answer. Yeah. yeah. If I were to ask, and then my current girlfriend right now, if she would mm-hmm. be like, "Yo, it's my exes," I'd be like, "I would. I would do what I said. Like, like it's a little weird. Give her a little and eye a little bit." Yeah. And she'd be like, "Okay, yeah." You know what I mean? Like, but she doesn't take it off. But she doesn't take it off. Well, I mean, she she can wear it for today. <laughs> Just don't wear it around me. Again. Are you gonna say that though? Like, honestly, oh, yeah, let's I say she keeps you, wearing yeah. it. I honestly, that shit makes me mad uncomfortable. I don't know. I I, I feel like it. It's still not a big enough problem to like affect the relationship, in my opinion. Okay. Like, it's just a hoodie, but I would be I would be bothered by it. How would you guys deep down? Feel? I would know I would be bothered by it, but yeah. I wouldn't. I, I, I wouldn't would let it take. I'm a not letting anything bother yeah. me, bro. At the end of the day, I'm not letting anything bother me. Red, if it bothers me that much, then I'm just gonna tell you. Red flag though, if he says like, yeah, you, like take like, I don't want to see that like when I'm with you. It's not a red flag. It's just like a little like, like a, a light bulb. An that alarm goes, goes off. off. Yeah, because like it's. Uh, like that type of stuff usually like, happens before I get into like an actual committed relationship with this person, and so like that is just like it a, tells you more about where they're at. Yeah, too. yeah. Okay. It's just like it just tells it's you. just That's like a, a little point. thing, yeah. like a like a thing that like goes off in my head. Yeah, like, like it's oh, not no. a flag. Say an alarm, fam. See, but, uh, it's an alarm. See, yeah, an it's alarm. Little ding ding. Uh, <laughs> it's a little ding ding. Um, <laughs> I'm hearing it. I'm hearing. It. I get what you guys are saying. You kind of like a, a little ding in your head, like oh alarm. A little bit. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. We not you can't win. win. But I'm telling you right now, I'm not feeling insecure. I'm not feeling like this guy's better than me. I'm feeling like you're disrespecting me. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yes. I'm not feeling anything else. I'm not. I'm gonna be like, I wouldn't take it as a competition. Like you still like him, you know? Not a little, but like I take it as like disrespectful to me. Yeah. Dude, but I'm saying. I'm not. I'm not saying it's wrong. What I you're mean feeling. it yeah, in no, 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 no. no way like wrong. that. Exactly. I'm just saying you're disrespecting just say, like, that's me. Weird and you're like, like, yeah. oh, like my apologies. Compared to being like, it's just a hoodie. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because then you're disregarding my feelings. Yeah. yeah. Now you're gaslighting me. You're, you're gaslighting <laughs> me at this fucking yeah. point. So nuanced. Yeah. Man. It's nuanced, y'all. It's fucking nuanced. <laughs> yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. If it's like, damn, can you imagine that? That's a little weird. It's just a hoodie, bro. Why are you mad, yeah. dude? Yeah, I'd be I like, would never. <laughs> That's crazy. That's facts. Yeah, I by mean, the end of the day, if, if your relationship is getting ruined by a hoodie, check yourself out. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's a good ass point. Um, other than that, though, guys, that's actually a perfect way to end the podcast. What a that is. Thank you for make, pushing me to ask another question. I appreciate it. Yeah, maybe you guys should come up with some questions or something like that. Anyways, um, other than that, guys, we're gonna go ahead and wrap no. this motherfucking podcast up. Thank y'all for tuning in. Make sure you like, subscribe. subscribe. Follow us on my Snapchat, Nick underscore Gehetta. Uh, hop in on the Discord. Comment on our Instagram posts how sexy we are, how fine we are, how I am above 5'11". I always appreciate it. Um, <laughs> other than that, though, guys, spot. this has been Suburb Talks. I am your host, Nick Gehetta. I'm Christine. Devante. Pog Boom. Sage. We will catch you guys on the next yeah, segment yeah. of Suburb Talks. Peace out, y'all. Bye. Woo! Oh, wait, we got to salute one more time, y'all. To another great podcast. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> salute, my people. Salute, salute. 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 I got nothing to hear. I don't either.